I just needed a break to be honest. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anthonia and today I'm going to be talking about how I applied to intercalate. If you don't know what intercalation is, I made a video about almost a year ago now, I'll link it up here, just kind of explaining a little bit about it and the process of intercalation, but I just thought that I would sit down and tell you guys about my story. If you're new around here, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Anthonia. I'm a fourth year medical student who makes videos about med school, university, and I just a chat on my channel about things that I like. If that sounds good to you, feel free to subscribe and keep watching this video. I remember not really thinking about intercalation too seriously until my third year of medical school. At my med school, normally in the past, you would intercalate between fourth year and fifth year. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I've got loads of time. And then all of a sudden, my med school decided to change it to between third year and fourth year. Obviously, that brings forward the plans by a year for us that wanted to intercalate in that year. It was interesting to actually have to consider it properly and actually have to make a decision as to whether I'm going to take this year out to do something different with all the costs and the applications and everything like that but I decided that I would at least try and give it a shot to apply to some places and see if there's anything that I really like. I guess my main motivating factors were the fact that I wanted a break from medicine at that point. I was getting to be a little bit burnt out with medicine if I'm gonna be completely honest. I just needed a break some time away a palate cleanser if you will also at the start of third year i was becoming very very acutely aware that my research skills were lacking to fit it nicely i was not confident with research at all and research is a very big part of the medical career so i just felt that i needed an opportunity to actually work on my research skills properly and through an intercalated degree i would have the opportunity to actually work on a dissertation or a final year research project that would hopefully build those skills so with those thoughts in my head i decided to start googling courses that i would potentially like to study when i tell you i had no idea Idea what I wanted to study. A lot of people come into med school with the idea that they want to practice in a certain specialty or they want to do a certain intercalated degree. It wasn't me. Head empty. So I went to go and google some courses that I kind of liked the sounds of. I liked the sound of child health at UCL but that course is only available to the internal students so I wasn't able to do that but I started to look into a wide range of courses. I considered psychology, women's health and reproductive sciences and MRES which is a master's of research where you do three projects over 12 months, global health and public health. So I basically went from being not too sure about what I wanted to do to being very interested in quite a few different areas. Those are like the main ones that I looked at and really considered applying to. I was just reading course descriptions, seeing the sorts of things that you leave with after a degree and what doors it opens for you and I just went from there. I also was looking at course structure and things like that. I do think it's important to consider whether you have loads of deadlines, loads of exams, it's going to be your reality for a year so you need to know what you're getting yourself into. I then decided to start looking at application requirements as well because obviously if you want to do the course you need to apply for it. Places really just require you to fill in either a form or to write a personal statement and then to send off your transcript and a reference from a personal tutor or an academic advisor, somebody who can attest to your academic ability and also like your commitment etc etc. The personal statement normally gets you to outline why you want to study that course, why you want to study at that university and what you think that this course will help you do in the future. I decided to apply for mainly global health, international health and public health courses because those really appealed to me the most so I could use the same personal statement and tweak it a little bit change things here and there which saved me a lot of time with PS writing I did initially struggle with the writing about my future aspirations with this degree because I'm not really sure what I want to do in the future with medicine I obviously know I want to practice as a doctor but there are so many amazing specialties that you can go into amazing places you can practice I just have no idea where to even start so I found that a little bit hard but once I got the ball rolling it became a little bit easier and because I could transfer that PS and use it for other applications it made life a lot easier. When you're applying for integrated degrees you can do a bachelor's or a master's those are the two main degree types that you're offered. The different types of degrees offer you different things they're structured differently they cost different things as well so that's something that you have to take into consideration for yourself. For me because I had to integrate between third year and fourth year it meant that we didn't have the option of the NHS birth 
covering the cost of the degree which did affect whether I wanted to do a master's or a bachelor's slightly as well. I also looked into the modules and I found that a lot of bachelor's courses were offering modules that I was more interested in and more comfortable with than the master's ones. In my opinion when I was reading through the course descriptions of some of the masters they expected you to have a very good grasp of the area of study that you're going into and a good handle or at least an adequate handle on research. I wasn't that confident in my research abilities like I said at the start of this video so I decided to apply for bachelor's courses except for one at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine and yeah I sent off my applications. The deadlines tended to be between January and March and I started hearing back from March to April May time. Personally for me the prospect of being able to study in a different city really excited me so I decided to apply mainly for places outside of Liverpool where my medical school is. I applied to three London universities King's, Imperial and UCL. I um, applied for Global Health at all three of them and I was fortunate enough to get offers from all three of them as well. I also received an offer back from the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine but by the time I'd gotten that offer I was really excited by the idea of studying somewhere else so I wasn't really considering it too much. Of course I hadn't really factored in the idea that Miss Rona would be here to stay for a substantial period of time and I would be doing the degree from home anyway but that was one of my really big motivating factors. Once I'd had all my offers back came the hard decision actually deciding where I wanted to study. I had these three courses that fit my interest in slightly different ways and then I had to make a decision as to like which one I actually wanted to go for. Which of them fit best for me? I looked personally at what exactly each course would offer me as in modules wise what would be covering in particular i looked at the exams i didn't really want a course that had loads and loads of exams i didn't really think that i'd want to study that way but yeah those two bits were a really big factor for me location really didn't play much of a factor into deciding at that point all three of the universities i had offers from that i was considering were in different parts of london but still in london so i felt like i'd get a fairly similar experience at all three location wise of course Miss Rona just took the reins from me and I've just been at home for all this time but still that was my line of thinking. It literally came down to it I made a list of the pros and cons of each university which is a lot harder than it seemed especially because I was only going to be there for a year but at the end of the day I think it helped me that Imperial didn't actually test via exams at all. It was more coursework based assessment which although it has given me a lot of stress has actually taught me very much how to keep to deadlines and the fact that I need to be working continuously instead of just trying to cram for a deadline or cram for an exam. I really feel like that's been something that I've gained from this course and at that time I thought that that was something that I may potentially improve on in that course. So yeah I've been studying at Imperial for half a year, not physically but I've been here for half a year and I'm really enjoying it. It definitely has its ups and downs but I do think that I made the right decision for myself and hopefully hearing my story will help you guys make the right decisions for yourselves as well. But yeah that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it's been useful full and a little bit eye-opening. I know I said it in my last video about intercalation. There isn't really much on YouTube about intercalation from students themselves. But yeah, hopefully it's been helpful. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other questions that you have for me that I didn't cover in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!